All right, what up, God Gamers? So today is Monday, the last day that Banshee will have reset weapons before Tuesday's reset. Um, let's just go over what he has, see if there's anything good I recommend you should pick up. And we'll also go over the uh, you know weekly weapons that are about to reset tomorrow that I should recommend that you uh, pick up. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. I can already see he's got a Whispering Slab. I love this bow. Let's check the roll on it. Archer's Tempo, Unrelenting. Not a bad roll at all. Definitely pick this up if you need a good one. Um, I love Archer's Tempo on bows, especially the lightweight frame, the rapid fire frame bows. And then Unrelenting is just a perk that gives you health regeneration on rapid kills. I believe it's like two kills or three kills and then Unrelenting will proc. Um, very good perk. Not a god roll any means of the sense, but it's still a very solid roll. And especially if you need a good lightweight frame bow, I would definitely pick this up. I'm a big defender of this bow. This is one of my favorite bows in the game. Uh, with that, you have flexible string and natural string. Definitely keep flexible string. Um, carbon arrow shaft and helical. I would definitely keep carbon arrow as well. And then you do have a draw time masterwork. So that's going to get the speediness of this bow down even more. And then combining that with archer's tempo, you're going to have a really fast rate of fire bow. So yeah, definitely pick this up if you're in need of a good lightweight frame rapid fire bow. Uh, very good choice. He has another judgment of Kelgarath. I'm really waiting for a day that Banshee does not sell this uh, glaive. Uh, Tilting Windmills, Unstoppable Force, I would skip on this to be honest. You got Alloy Mag, eh, and then you got Ballistic Tuning and Low Impendence Windings. Um, yeah, I mean, to keep Ballistic Tuning, you got a Shield Duration Masterwork. Um, Tilting Windmills, meh, and then Unstoppable Force, also meh. I mean, I guess if you like to block with Glaives, this is definitely the Glaive for you, but I would personally skip on this uh, Glaive today. He's got a Legal Action too with Surplus Rampage. That's actually a really solid roll. Surplus uh, increases handling, reload speed, and stability for each full charged ability. So it rewards you for not using your abilities. I personally don't love this perk for PvE, or uh, but in PvP it can actually be pretty good. Um, you know, the start of those, you know, early trials rounds or early elimination rounds, or even the starts of like quick play matches where you have all your abilities up and you don't use them, um, you will get, you know, increased benefits for your legal action too if you if you use it so yeah or if you don't use them i guess i should say and then you do have rampage rampage in this thing is very good it being a 340 pulse uh the high impact uh long range pulses are really good with rampage you get a kill and then you can all of a sudden start two bursting people um but granted with no time to explain you can also just two burst people at, outright so i mean that is something to take into account uh with this you do have steady rounds and alloy mag i'd probably keep steady rounds and then you do have chambered compensator and extended barrel i'd probably also keep chamber compensator and then you do have a reload master which can be pretty necessary because these things and the reload speed are pretty slow and then you could also equip like a backup mag to get an additional 10 rounds, give yourself even more, you know, longevity in terms of like fighting time with this gun. I would definitely say pick it up if you need one with Rampage. This is not a bad roll in any means of the sense, but it is also not a god roll in any means of the sense. So we'll move on from that. We got a brass attacks with surplus sympathetic arsenal. I would probably say skip on this. This is a really rare uh, old sidearm from Season of the Chosen, which is just about two years old now. Um, definitely pick this up if you don't have this gun, although this is not a great roll. You do have Hammer Forged and Small Bore, probably keep Hammer Forged. Also, Flared Magwell and Light Mag, I'd probably keep Flared Magwell. And then Surplus, like I just said, increases handling, reload speed, and stability for each fully charged ability. Not a terrible perk. And then Sympathetic Arsenal, reloading after a final blow also reloads, reloads stowed weapons. Kind of a wasted perk in my opinion. I don't really like this perk at all. I think it's just kind of like a you know, an in-slot perk that can just be there, and, you know, maybe once in a while you get a good use out of it, but, I mean, most of the time you are reloading your weapons before you stow them uh, subconsciously, so, I mean, I feel like this is kind of a wasted perk, but, you know, everybody has their own opinions. You know, if you like this perk, then go pick this one up. Uh, it does have a stability masterwork, kind of a mid-masterwork. You definitely want, like, a range or a handling or a reload speed on this instead of a stability, but, I mean, you know, hey, not a terrible brass attack, just not a god roll. Uh, definitely pick that up if you don't have one or if you need one, so, yeah. And then you have the class-specific swords. I'm on my Warlock right now, so this has Energy Transfer and Surrounded. These class-specific swords are pretty... Uh, they're, they're all right right about now. The regular Legendary swords in the game that don't have Eager Edge are pretty useless at the moment, but the class-specific ones actually do a decent fair amount of damage. This one has Surrounded. I'm unsure what the Crown Splitter and the Hunter one has. Um... But this one has Surrounded. Not a terrible one. If you need a good class-specific sword that you haven't gotten from uh, Defiant Battleground Engrams, if you don't know, you can actually focus these swords and craft them at the Defiant Battlegrounds helm area. Um, it is the Imperial Engram, I believe. So I would definitely try to get that if you don't already have these. But um, yeah, this one has Surrounded, Energy Transfer, Infinite Guard. You got Hungry Edge, you got Honed Edge, which is probably the edge you want to run, and then you have Jagged Edge. So yeah, these two edges are the two best edges in the game, in my opinion. Uh, and, you, and you do have Surrounded, pretty good, and then you do have an Impact Masterwork. So if you need a good class-specific sword and you're on Warlock, I would definitely say pick up Eternity's Edge, but it's no means necessary at all. 
Um, it's kind of just a preference thing. If you don't have it, I'm going to pick it up because it has surrounded. I don't have one with surrounded. But yeah, we'll move on to the weapons that I think you should pick up from the weekly items uh, that are going away tomorrow. So definitely, first thing up, the Lod Proxy. Definitely pick this thing up because it has target lock. This thing is really slept on. Very good for like quick play, Iron Banner, the 6v6 activities in quick play and uh, just in PvP in general. Um, it's pretty decent in PvP or PvE as well. Uh, but target lock is probably the most sought after perk that you want in PvP. I know they did just nerf it, although it's still really good. Definitely pick this thing up. Very slept on and very hard to get target lock with this thing. Next thing up, you got a no distractions thresh contingency plan. I would definitely pick this up. This is one of those guns that like if you if you've never seen it, you'd never know about it. But if you do have it, you use it because it's really good. This came out in Season of the Lost. It originally came out, I believe, in a vanilla D2. This thing's really good with Thresh. Uh, Thresh is actually a super underrated perk in my opinion. Uh, gives you a fuck ton amount of super and thresh is really good on like primary weapons that you can just mindlessly kill ads and get your super back really fast you got hammer forge you got extended mag i definitely run extended mag and then you got uh, a range master with no distractions so you're going to get less flinch you're going to get more range and you're going to get more super from using this gun definitely pick it up and then you do have a palmyra b with ambitious adrenaline definitely pick this thing up if you don't have it crafted already this is a really slept on roll adrenaline junkie is one of the best perks in the game right now i would highly highly recommend you picking this up if you don't already have a better one or if you don't have it crafted but yeah that's going to do it for today's daily visit with banshee hope you guys enjoyed make sure to click that like and subscribe button i appreciate all of you uh shout out to red orb and uh yeah thanks for watching guys have a great rest of your day all right